On rocky bottoms we often find a rich variety of marine life. It's generally called the benthos. In the shallows there is not just an abundance of seaweed but also sea squirts, sponges, sea anemone and many other ground attached creatures. Coral can only be found in deeper waters. Near the rock floor we can also find an array of the larger mobile invertebrates such as starfish, sea urchins and crab. Here are some red algae. They are particularly found at greater depths than other algae as they require less sunlight to grow. We follow a big cod over the rock floor which is blooming with life. A smaller cod is swimming to the left and he's lucky not to become the larger fish's dinner as cod are cannibals. A medusa glides by. In their life cycle they have two stages. The medusa stage where they drift freely in the water and the polyp stage where they attach themselves to the rock floor. The colourful and varied fauna on the rock floor often cover the whole area and fight for a vacant spot. Here we find red algae, yellow sponges and also brown algae. Amongst them we can see spirorbis worms and sea snails. Marine life never fails to bring surprises. Here's a creature that we aren't able to identify. It may be a variety of sponge. This is a nudibranch. Nudibranchs are shellless snails. They are predators and feed upon various small creatures attached to the rocks. Life can be hard. The hermit crab makes his home in the shell of a snail and as he grows he has to move house, commandeering a new shell to live in. A brittle star in a hollow. Brittle stars are echinoderms related to starfish and sea urchin. Starfish can be ornate like this blood star. Starfish are predators and far from the innocent creatures often featured in cartoons. The lumpfish is no less awesome a sight here by the geothermal vents in Airfjord of the Fjord. This is a male and it's his job to bring up the kids in the nest he makes on the rock floor. The vents teem with both sea creatures and vegetation. Saith travel widely in their search for food, often in large shoals as we see here. They can be found near the seafloor and in the pelagic zone. They will often congregate near hills or other features on the sea bottom where they feel most at home. The redfish adds more colour to the scene. He feels safer where there is variety on the seabed with lots of nooks and crannies to hide in should he smell danger.